Hey guys, I was asked to talk about a little bit of the difference um, in what we're trying to get out of a farmer's carry. So questions are, do I do it fast? Do I do it slow? Do I hook grip? Where should my shoulders be? So let's talk some rules of thumb. So generally in a farmer's carry, jump on my belly, you want your shoulders kind of back and down. Now the heavier that gets, the more that weight is gonna pull you down and you have to work to fight to stay upright. The point of a farmer's carry is to load your body and your core so that you have to be stronger in that. Now, a couple other things to note, kettlebell versus dumbbell. A kettlebell generally is gonna hang a little bit better, whereas a dumbbell kind of gets racked on your leg. Both have different stimuluses, both have different outcomes. If your goal is to exercise four time and race, you should go fast. You should um, basically keep a nice smooth cadence, keep it nice and low, probably not a run because that's a lot of jostling if it's super heavy. If you're working on grip strength and time under tension, walk, walk slowly. Another thing about grip, if you are working on a grip, no hook grip. If you are working to go as long as you can and you can get your thumb around there, you can hook grip. That will save your grip over time. So hook grip saves your grip. If you're actually trying to tax your grip, you can hold here, thumb out or around, and you can actually use fat grips. So it all depends on the stimulus of what you're going for. I don't think any one of them are bad, but you're gonna wanna approach it differently. Now, that being said, you also don't wanna forget the brother of this, and that is the suitcase carry. And so in a suitcase carry, we're looking to keep that nice upright posture. This arm might even have to go out. What we want to avoid is this um, or, or this, okay? So basically here, we're trying to counter the weight with our opposite side abs. We'll just call them side abs for now, your opposite part of your core to stabilize here. I guarantee those suitcase carries will make you more sore than you probably would have thought. So just a little food for thought on pharma carries and suitcase carries.